Was everyone supposed to be at the tower? The combatants are headed to the towers to assault it. The civilians, not so much. Daniel is resting, but it's no easy slumber. I discovered what's wrong with him. The shadows rendered him in two when they bore him away to the Shadowfell. Half of his essence remained here, amidst the curse. What stayed behind would have been the strongest part of him. But after all these years left in the darkness, corruption must have taken hold. Oh, you meant the Harper. I assume they left a couple Harpers back just as a... Uh... A little bit of protection for the civilians in the bub in the uh, safety bubble, just in case. <clears throat> and as a possible way to say our fighting force failed and warn people of the, uh, you know, the troubles that are going to be coming from the area eventually. But more than likely, more as a protection measure for the civilians. After all, there are kids and whatnot that are here. H okay, uh, can we undo this, Halson? Perhaps. If we can find Thaniel's lost half and make him whole again. Only the missing half may not come willingly. The curse will have sunk its tendrils deep, twisting Thaniel's essence into something else oh right the shadow child i met a sort of shadow child before a little boy named oliver around thaniel's age he also knew thaniel's name and you saw this boy yourself well, that can't be a coincidence but we need to be sure and i truly mean we if you wish every moment counts and i've asked much of you already without being at your side if you want me, I'm yours. Against the curse, against the absolute... Anything. Just say the word. Join me, Halsin. Seems your ranks are quite packed. If some space frees up, I'll be ready for you. Hey, we can get a druid on our side now, chat. Yay, druid time. Where are my yayers at, huh? Anybody? Anybody? All right. Uh, Will. I hate to do this so soon, but could you take a seat? Well met. Are you sure? The blades and... I really should have made him a pact of the blade warlock since he is... Always going on about being the blade. I could always respect him into one. No druid respect in the fighter. <clears throat> All right, Halson. Faniel still suffers. There'll be no improvement until his essence is restored. I fear. Join me. He should be a hexblade, but they didn't have that. Yeah. Come, join me. Good. Now our roots can deepen. Together. Together. All right. Level one druid. Oh, we get to just completely respect him from the beginning. Shalele. All right. Boy, I haven't built a druid in a long time, chat. And he's a wood elf, of course. Makes sense. Combat wild shape, wild shape into stuff, wild shape bear. Uh, subclass. All right. So, Circle of the Moon. Druid sworn to the moon draw its mercurial nature to transform into massive creatures and primal elementals. This is your, uh, uh generally your I I wild shape into. Things build. Um, it's what I would have multiclassed Carlock into if Barbarian build worked in this game. Unfortunately, it doesn't. So, couldn't do it. 
feels bad. Circle of the land. Druids of this circle connect to powerful magic that flows through the earth and binds all living things together. This is more of your caster type. It's like your, uh, your, your wizard druid, basically, right? And then circle of the spores. This is your summoner, right? Uh, viewing death, necrosis, fungal growth, and sporulation is just another part of life. You can manipulate such spores to augment yourself and harm your foes. Shoot a cloud of necro necrotic spores upon a target. It uses a reaction, so other reactions won't trigger this turn. Symbiotic Entity. Gain eight temporary hit points, deal an additional 1d6 necrotic damage while you have them. Cast Halo of Spores with double damage. Bone Chill Cantrip. <laughs> the spores call Spore Druid chat. You want Spore Druid, huh? Yeah, Spore Druid is, is uh, uh, kind of like Druid Necromancer in a way. Where you use, uh, uh, if you saw what we did with the Myconids in the Underdark, where you could use spores to basically animate the dead and have it fight for you, Circle of the Spores Druid could do some of that. It's honestly what I was thinking. It's honestly what I'm thinking of doing as an evil playthrough where I want to have a bunch of summons is using Circle of Spores Druid with some, some necromancy dip. So I think I'll leave Circle of Spores Druid for my next playthrough and we'll pick either Circle of Land or Circle of the Moon. <clears throat> uh, I think we'll maybe just stick with his base. We'll we'll go Circle of the Moon, right? Get him into the wild shaping and whatnot. After all, then we can have a bear. We've always wanted a bear chat, haven't you? And besides, uh, going as Circle of the Moon means that we get to uh, have Wild Shape as a bonus action and stuff, so we'll, it'll give us another frontline character. So there's that. So yeah, let's go Circle of the Moon. Let's prepare some spells. <clears throat> and I'll be going Circle of the Spores on my next playthrough, where we will be evil. Muhahaha. At least that's my current plan, so more than likely that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so what do we got here? We've got Ice Knife, Entangle, Fog Cloud, Speak with Animals, Animal Friendship, Charm Person, Thunder Wave, Healing Word, Cure Wounds, Fairy Fire. Fairy Fire is pretty nice. Hand Sleep, Long Strider, Good Berry, and Creator Destroy Water. Alright, so Cure Wounds, give me Healing Word. That's better, because it's a bonus action. I know it heals a little less, but, you know. Um, I think we'll nix the Ice Knife. Take a fairy fire. Its concentration is the only problem with fairy fire. As everything in this fucking game is concentration, 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 D and D, 5e. They should call it D and D concentration. Now, if I take fairy fire, then probably screw entangle.
Could you get Halsim if you're evil? Probably not if you kill the Grove. In fact, I guarantee that you won't be able to get him if you kill the Grove. He would absolutely try to kill you. He'd fight back. Uh, and even if you did get him, I think if you did enough evil acts, he'd probably peace out on you. Take that. And I think I'll kill the good berry for creator destroy water. Either that or speak with animals. I'll take creator destroy water. Alright, so what do we got? Level 2 spells have been unlocked. Okay. Level 2 spells, we got Lesser Resto, Protection from Poison, Pass Without Trace, Flaming Sphere, Hold Person, Flame Blade, Gust of Wind, Moonbeam, Dark Vision, Heat Metal, Enhance Ability, Spike Growth, and Bark Skin. Moonbeam's always pretty nice. If we're going for any of the damage dealing spells out there. Mostly because, uh... If you can keep a, an enemy stuck in one spot, then this is just a... It's an orbital laser on them. Just going... <laughs> every turn. You have to get a Guru character to go Spore Druid or be one yourself? Um, as far as I can tell, you can just respec any character into anything. Hell, with Halsin here, I probably could have... Actually, I don't know if you can change him out of being a druid, but... Uh, with every other character I've had, I could change them into whatever class I want them to. Which is good for building the characters that you like into doing whatever you want. It's a little less good for the RP purposes of, hey, this character is this kind of character, you know what I mean? But still, it's probably for the better that you can respect characters into anything. That way, if you really like a character, but you hate the way they start as their build, you can make them good. Get that out of here. I might take Flaming Sphere. I like Flaming Sphere. I'm a big fan. Odd shape, Deep Roth, Deep Rothe, and Dire Raven. Blind enemies, hell yeah. We gained a cantrip. Oh. Yeah, guidance. Not even gonna question that. Gained a new spell slot. Mm, how big is this? This is six meters of spike growth. That can also be pretty solid. Honestly, heat metal's really good. I'll take heat metal. Oh, and we get a feat! Yay! What feat should we take, chat? What do you think? Probably just gonna up his ability score. Show feat. Dungeon Delver. Uh-huh. No thanks.
Do, 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 do. We'll just wisdom, wisdom go up. Wisdom go up is just the brainless thing to do for the feet. Hey, we gained some level three spell slots. Wild strike, make an additional attack after marking non-armed strike while in wild shape. Nice. Feign death, get that out of here. What is that garbage? Plant growth. Major uh, difficult terrain. Protection from energy. Call lightning's pretty solid. Sleet storm's also not bad because it creates um, creates difficult terrain of ice. And it can disrupt concentration spellcasters. So yeah, we'll take a sleet storm and well, I might just take like another level two spell instead. After all, I don't need to take level three spells. Dude, look at this. Three out of six level three spells are concentration. Three out of s half of them. Half of them. Bruh. Why are so many spells concentration? It's just too many. Sheesh, uh, I'll actually take one point and speak with animals, maybe? Yeah. Well, yeah, I ha I'm gonna take Sleet Storm as a nice fuck spellcaster spell. That's- that's its job. Oh, are you concentrating on something? No, you're not. Ah, we can become a panther or an owlbear at this one. Let me see, what does owlbear get? Rupture can become enraged. Massive hit points. Doesn't the owlbear also have that big, uh, that big stomp thing that it can jump down on? Yeah, owlbear's... Owlbear's the winner in between those two. Panther's fine, but owlbear's better, definitely. Definitely. Stop trying to give me Ice Knife. How many times do I have to tell it no? Yeah, it's better bear. It's bear with wings. See, animal friendship's bad because of that last thing it says. In higher difficulty modes, the target might become hostile when the spell ends. Uh, I guess I'll take Call Lightning, maybe. Cust of Wind, if it lasted for more than one turn of off-balance, and I'd like it. Alright, level 7. Circle of the Moon Druid. Just more spells. We have access to level 4 spells now. We've got Freedom of Movement. Stone skin. Conjure minor elemental. We're just going to go ahead and put that in right away. Conjure woodland being. Ooh, conjure a dryad. She can use nature step, entangle enemies, and summon a woodwoad. Well. Grasping vine. Confusion. Dominate beast. 
Ice Storm. Wall of Fire. Blight and Polymorph. So, Conjure Minor Elemental's good. Looks like Conjure Woodland Being seems pretty good, too. So, uh, I'll take Thunder Wave away, put that in. That's better. Yeah, we'll conjure some Woodland Beings. And I... And now, level 8. Wild Shape, Sabertooth Tiger. Shred Armor and Regen's hit points. Starts with 62. Hmm. So, the Sabertooth Tiger is a better version of the Panther, I would say. Maybe just slightly less uh, stealth capability, less on the stealth, but more on the... more on the rip to shreds. I feel like Owlbear's probably a little better just because it's the big tank, anyway. Shredding armor is nice, though. Ice knife, leave me alone. I'll take wall of fire. So we got two different level four summons that we can use. Ooh, and a new feat. Chat, show feat. I might take Warcaster because we've got a lot of concentration spells. <sighs> What's your equipment there, Halsing? A bunch of nothing. Which I guess makes some sense. Have a little more mind. Um, well, in it. Okay, so Halcyon has now joined us. Circle of the Moon Druid. Moon Druid. So we must seek. The, a place where flowers still grow in the Shadow Curse Land. Among the blooms, we might locate Thaniel's missing half the key to curing his illness. Well, if, if, if it's just finding the kid, then I know where the kid is. The Shadow Kid. So we'll go do that. All right. Cool that we can finally bring Halsin along with us. Also, I have some other business to take care of in camp. Where are Withers and the child? Does the child wish to speak to me now? I don't believe it. They can't be. Breathe, child. Resist not the winds of change. Let them carry thee. No. no! You do not sound like a child, by the way. Listen. Dost thou not hear it? Where creation meets ruin, where morning meets midnight, the root of all being. Balance. They're dead. I can't. Balance. Your very soul is tangled in shadow. Arabella's magic, wild as cursed briar. Her talent is now yours, too. Oh? The girl must learn the ways of the arcane. But she shan't remain here. <sighs> Where will she go, then? The Weave knows her purpose. It will guide her plainly, 
If she listens, Arabella holds a power beyond reckoning. That of the decaying forest and the seedling that bore it. But it is unbalanced. Her yoke is already heavy. If she walks thy path, it will surely break. Arabella will depart once thou dost leave these accursed lands. She will find her way safely. Thus, it is fated. Bowman, you're making me leave. Fear not, girl. Abandon not the weave, and it shall not abandon thee. You can trust Withers. He's a nice old grandpa. I... <laughs> you feel the grief fade as if it were your own. There is a lightness in her now, veiling the power within, soothing it. Is that my future? Is that why they died? It is. It's wonderful. Thank you, Bowman, for being nice. If there are people like you around, perhaps everything will be all right. Withers encouraged Arabella to learn the ways of the Weave. She left to find her own way in the world. You receive the Shadowblade Ring. One of the relics of Deep Duera's rebellious children. Long ago in a foreboding realm called Hammergrim, Deep Duera, daughter of the dower god Ladagor, sired a great many heirs to her twisted corundum throne. It gives you Shadowblade. When you use this shadowy short sword to attack a target that is in dim light or darkness, you make the attack roll with advantage. Shadow Blade can be unequipped and equipped again, but must remain on the spellcaster's person. Neat. Here you go, Halsey. Wear that circlet. Now you can raise some dead. Also, we've got Arabella's Shadow Entangle. Entangle undead and shadow creatures. Neat. If Bowman says I'll be alright, I'll be alright. I just wish... I wish it was different. I wish Mom and Pops was here. You've been so strong. They'd be very proud of you. I don't feel so strong. Or anything, really. Just tired. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Why is he attacking us? Because we cast a spell? To heal? Because we cast a healing spell? What the hell? Might be because that harper died. Okay.
I do not know why this is happening. I even catch my breath. I didn't kill the Harper. Oh, hey, we leveled up from that. Wow, what do you know? This doesn't make the rest of everyone all angry at me. I don't think I did anything bad here, did I? Did you see it? The path of light. That's good, right? Means we might make it out of here alive. Yeah, uh, that... That Harper never got hit by us until she was dead and turned into a shadow thing. Ugh. There better be a soft moon maiden protect. We rallied here once, years ago, before the assault on Moonrise Towers. The Archdruid at the time spoke to us all, inspiring our courage. He was a fine leader. Yeah, the Harper that ran out there got killed by the Shadow Curse and the many zombies that were there trying to stop us from getting Thaniel. Also, why, what am I doing? I've got level ups to do. We leveled up off those idiots. Oh, the fireball only hit my people and the zombies that were next to us. That's it. That's it. Okay, Sorcerer, go up. Level 9. Nyan. Okay, uh, more Sorcery points. Level 3 spell slots are now unlocked. Good, level 3 spells. That gives us new good stuff. Taste concentration, of course it is. Because everything's concentration. God, I hate how everything is concentration. Could just take a good old fireball. Hard to feel bad with a good old fireball. Change out fog cloud. Or perhaps counter spell. What's the DC on that for us? 12 only. Hmm. Probably counterspell then. There we got a couple X, couple of good level three spells available to us. Wits and blades always sharp. All right, Shadow Heart, level four, level five spell slots unlocked. Okay, let's take a look at our level five spells. Level five spells give us. Oh, wait, hold on. She also got life domain spells, mass cure wounds, and greater restoration for free. All five spells. Dispel evil and good. Disadvantage on attack rolls against you. You can also break enchantments that charm frighten. Giving, giving free disadvantage against those is pretty nice. Well, I say free, but at a cost. Planar Binding. Follow you and fight you as an ally for 10 turns. It's also good. Insect Plague. Locusts attack everyone within range, make the area difficult terrain, and impose disadvantage on perception checks. Flame Strike. Make a pillar of divine fire roar down from the heavens like the wrath of affronted angels. And Contagion. Poison a target and possibly afflict them with a disease of your choice. Until long rest, apparently. Freedom of movement, what is that doing in here? Get out of there. 
freedom of movement is not that helpful or needed. Um, I guess planar binding and dispel evil and good are all right. The other three level five spells, not the most amazing. I feel like it's honestly a lot more likely I'm just going to be upscaling stuff from lower levels. Because the level 1, 2, and 3 spells are... There's a bunch of really good ones, you know? The level 4 spells... Meh. The level 5 spells... Eh, you can make a... You can make a case for a couple of them. On the bright side, it's not concentration. You mean freedom of movement? True. True. However, it's only one ally. And only one ally is not the best of help. If it was AoE, then freedom of movement would be pretty good. Pretty damn good. Don't think upcasting it lets it target more either. Well, then it's garbage. And again, both Dispel, Evil and Good, and Planar Binding are more concentration spells that are competing with stuff like Bless. You know, blessing the team and stuff like that. I can upcast Bless and have Bless on all my allies and concentrate on that. Or I could have an upcast Spirit Guardians going and have the Shredder going. Like... What, the, the, let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. 14 of our possible spells that we could take with us are concentration spells. And you can only have one of them running at a time. You can't have more than one concentration going at the same time. That's just too many competing with each other. Way too many. Sure, we'll grab Glyph of Warding. How about that? Why not? Careful, I mind. All right, Sterian, our Gloom Ranger. Favored enemy. So we got Bounty Hunter before. Proficiency in Investigation. Creatures you hit with Ensnaring Strike have disadvantage on their saving throws. Keeper of the Veil. Specialized in hunting creatures from other planes of existence. Gain proficiency in Arcana and can cast protection from evil and good. Mage Breaker. Battling Spellcasters. Gain proficiency in Arcana and gain two strike. Ranger Knight. Uh, gain proficiency in Heavy Armor, along with History. And Sanctified Stalker. So hunt down the enemies of a holy or druidic order. Proficiency in religion can cast Sacred Flame. I think Keeper of the Veil is our best one here. And our Natural Explorer. Beast Tamer. Cast Find Familiar without spending a spell slot. Wasteland Wanderer Cold, Fire, and Poison. I guess we could take Wasteland Wanderer Fire here. Because there's a lot of fire damage that we've been seeing. Fire and Poison are the two that we've been seeing the most of. Cold 
Very rarely. I'm gonna go with considering we're fighting uh, devils and stuff now and again, and undead are the other big thing. I'm gonna go fire. Yeah. Fire also counts for explosions. And do I got any spells to replace? Not really. Okay. And Halsin, we just got you to level 8 and you just hit level 9. <laughs> see, we gained level 5 spell access. Oh boy, let's take a look. Greater Resto, Planar Binding, Conjure Elemental. Let's just go ahead and put that in right there. Uh, Insect Plague, Mass Cure Wounds, Wall of Stone, and Contagion. Let's just put Conjure Elemental in right there and be happy. Also, why didn't I just teleport here? Am I dumb? Might be dumb. Oh well. We've made our walkies. Can't believe I'm addicted to the Mind Flare bussy. Please don't put it like that. Get ready to talk to the boy. Let's get on with it. Quick, give me your guidance. Sounds have stayed interesting. Best be on my way. What's up, Ollie? I won fair and square. There's no point in playing again. I want a challenge. Though shrouded in shadows, the child's resemblance to Daniel is unmistakable. This must be his dark half, warped by the curse. Go on. Find someone else to play with. I know who you really are and where you really belong. You need to reunite with Thaniel. Spoil sport. I'm not going back. I like it here. I've made a family for myself. I get to play all the time. All the time. Like it or not, you don't belong here. Hmm... Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Not harder. Impossible. I don't want to play with you anymore. Ugh. He's scarpered. We'd better track him down if the shadows don't stop us first. Scarpered into a shadow portal, huh? Okay, then. Let's go. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, we gotta take down Daddy and Mommy, dude. Wait, didn't I already kill Daddy and Mommy? I guess he made a new Daddy and Mommy. Time for Daddy to go die-die. Nice damage. I'll make my own fun if I have to. And my own friends. Friends until the end on self. Summons your friends to play each turn. Oh, I see. 
Wave after wave of shadow friends are coming our way at one HP each. Well, I don't know what to say other than I know exactly how to deal with those. We'll be fine. Hey, let's conjure an elemental. An actual elemental. Water gives you Winter's Blast Slam and can met out cold punishment. Fire gives you Smoldering Touch, Erupting Cinder, and can make your foes burn. Oh, big AoE. Okay. Earth, Seismic Strike, Soil Clog Slam. Smashing nearby creatures, pushing them back, and making them wobble on trembling legs. That's pretty good. Um. It's also AoE. It makes difficult terrain. And then air, primordial gales. Gushing air. And shock. Six HP, one oh two HP, one fourteen HP. Okay. Uh, are they immune to any kinds of damage? Necrotic and poison. Otherwise, it's just normal resistances, except for radiant. All right, let's make a fire elemental. And then we can wild shape ourselves into... Oh, it's not listed in order of things. Let's become the owl bear. Owl bear. Look how big the owl bear is. Big and chonky. Oh hey, they're bad against radiant, are they? Well, what if we just... What if we just upcast Spirit Guardians? We'll use a level 4 slot. The action economy is going to be in shambles for them. Surrounded by someone, you teleport to an unoccupied space you can see as a bonus action? You can just do that? Bro. That's really good. Daddy's lecture. Just you watch. Ow. Bro. That tickled. We're fine. Ooh. Okay, those shadow friends hurt. Holy moly. They are damage dealers. Daddy's got a die Ah, oh, so close. Ah. 
Lunar Mend. Crushing Flight. Leap at a target to bite it and knock it prone. That's the move. Can be used as a bonus action, too. I did regular jump instead of crushing flight because they have the same hotkey for no good reason. Breathing. I'm breaking things. Okay, we're destroying the night dome with each of his little friends that are dying. More friends. Mercilessly slaughtering children. Yeah, that sounds like my chat. That hurt. Yo, this thing's fast. Okay. Don't touch it. You know what? We can just literally sit here and chill. Where do I go from here? Done. We can sit here and chill because Shadowheart is unstoppable here. Oh, I am shocked that you could get into position for that. Oh, no, 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 no. Everything I've ever wanted, right here, and you've ruined it. I'll soon get your big Albert Albert Alice me. out of the way. Be gentle. He's much more than a child, but he doesn't truly know that. 
<laughs> yeah, look at this. Listen to the, uh, the, the curtain of feathers talking to you. <laughs> oh. Okay, be gentle, it says. <clears throat> I'll go with... You have what you want, but not what you need. Nathaniel, he's your friend, your kin. He's you. He's nothing to me. He left me here all this time. I had to do everything for myself. Even when it was scary, even when I was alone, I didn't give up. I suppose this is the uh, drawback to having a character on your team that has wild shape. This right here. Uh, nobody's to blame here. The curse tore you two apart. Now you can be reunited. But would he even want me back? I've changed. A lot. Uh, change is good. That's what growing up is all about. Together, you two will become more than you were before. So I wouldn't have to make up friends to play with anymore. I'd have someone real! I'd like that. And he would too, I think. All right, I'll do it. I want to do it. Well done. <laughs> Are you crying? You're a bit big to be crying. But I suppose that's okay. Bye. And thank you for playing with me. Everybody approves. It's done, at last. Soon the land will be unshrouded. We should return to Thanos. Oh my god, oh no, get off of his face now. <laughs> what to do? Praise be. It is done. Now Thanos will be whole again. I could not have done this without you, my friend. We should return to camp when we can. I must see how Thaniel is faring. With the Oak Father's blessing, the Shadow Curse may soon be no more. Oh. All shape ended. Speak to Halson at camp. These lands will soon be free of Shah's grasp. You can almost sense it. If I was a bard, I might be tempted to draw comparisons between nature and myself both shaking off Shah, but luckily for you, I'm no bard. Sounds like we'll have to hire a good bard. I think I'll enjoy traveling with Halson. Not for his wit or wisdom. He'll just make an excellent shield if we're attacked. <laughs> You're not wrong, actually. It's kind of his part of his job. Halson's proved himself a fine ally already. He'll be useful in battle, if those tree trunk arms are an indication. He is swole as fuck, that's true. What path lies before me? Hmm, a savvy move recruiting Halson into our cause. While I'm adept at most forms of weave manipulation, druidic magic is not my area of expertise. He will make for a most useful option to have in reserve. Um, I might set Asterion out of the party for a bit while he's low and bring Gale for a little while. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Oh, darling, I'm... I... It sounds... How can I help? With... Oh, also, gotta level him up. Thought. 
wizard leveling up always is fun because you get all the fun new spells. Well, any magic caster leveling up. <clears throat> Level 5 spells. We've got Cloud Kill, Cone of Cold, Conjure Elemental, Dominate Person, Old Monster, Planar Binding, Seeming, Telekinesis, Wall of Stone. I'm going to take Conjure Elemental because these elementals are pretty good. They're beefy. And Telekinesis. Telekinesis, a.k.a. Yeet. First we yeet, then we skeet. Oh, yeet, 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 yeet. Drop the ice storm for telekinesis, maybe? I mean, I've only got the one level 5 spell unlocked, and I'll definitely be using Conjure Elemental over Telekinesis at the moment. is one hench elf. I'm impressed. And glad he's on our side. Ah, Hulsin is such a delight. Woe to the cultist who tangles with that thick hunk of an elf. Will thinks Hulsin is thick and a hunk. The druid Halsin spoke to me while I was sleeping. He spoke of you. Said that you fought shadow and spite to restore me. A hundred years of sickness almost ended. I feel every root that riddles the earth beginning to unfold. But there is one anchor still holding the shadows in place. The soul that brought it into being for the land to heal. Catherick Thorne must die. Oakfather, preserve you. I met a peer of yours, the Druid Jahira. Do you know her? Only by reputation. She was present when we marched against Catherick Thorne, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. And in the chaos that ensued, well... Our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. Though in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. You seem to admire her greatly. There is much to admire, judging by the stories. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Would she have helped the refugees? Defended the Grove? <coughs> controlled Korga? At least now we can benefit from her presence, and perhaps work to a common goal. So you've spent all these years fighting the Shadow Curse. What happens once it's lifted? Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So, I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. Of course, I only wish you'd have joined earlier. So do I. But one duty at a time. So what happened before, when the Shadow Curse was unleashed? Druids and Harpers joined together to put a stop to Catherick Thorm. We marched on Moonrise, and after much fighting, we prevailed. Even in defeat, though, Catherick turned to Shah. Not long after we sealed him away in his tomb, the Shadow Curse took hold. 
No one had seen the likes of it before. No one knew how to react. Then it started to claim all those within its reach. Those who had survived the battles now fell to the shadows, became part of the shadows. And worst of all, I lost contact with Thaniel. I wanted to try and find him, but we couldn't stay. We would have all succumbed. When the Archdruid of the Grove, my predecessor, was seized by the curse, I had to lead the survivors to safety. That was my first day as Archdruid. An inauspicious beginning. <clears throat> I mean, sounds like you did what you had to do and saved lives. You are right, but I must not lose focus until everything has been put right. I've wasted too much time already. Years in which nature has suffered. How am I holding up in your estimations? I've been unfair to you. I've had unrealistic expectations of your character ever since I joined you. But honestly, you've surpassed even those. Seems my faith was more than well-founded. I feel like I haven't gotten to know you properly yet. It's true, and I can't imagine I helped with that. Sometimes I let the task at hand consume me, and people think I'm obsessed. Trust me, the day I no longer have to talk about the Shadow Curse will be a happy one. What would you like to know? Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but you're you're a big guy for an elf. I am? <laughs> Trust me, it's been said. You show more restraint than most in avoiding the subject until now. Any idea how it came about? Who's to say? <laughs> Perhaps there's a half-orc buried somewhere in my ancestry. Or perhaps not. Sometimes I think conventional wisdom is too narrow about what someone can or cannot be. Stranger things have most certainly happened. Fair enough. How'd you get to be a druid? Hmm. I had a friend when I was young, long ago. He played with me in the forests where I grew up. But... Eventually, I realized no one else had heard of him. It was Daniel, of course. Nature was my very first friend. I get older, but he hasn't changed a day. I knew then that I had to be more than a companion to him. I had to be a protector. <clears throat> So do you have any family or friends or a lover, wife or anything? <laughs> You're not a doppelganger, are you? Trying to study me to learn all my secrets so you can take my place? <laughs> no. <laughs> Save for <laughs> me. My line perished a long time ago. They rest in High Forest now, near the shade of the Grandfather Tree. The Grove became my family, with Sylvanus as my teacher. And now I have you. Well, I guess sorry about your loss. It was a long time ago. The wounds don't heal, but they become more bearable. Tell me something about yourself that I wouldn't even think to ask. Hmm. Um, I suppose you wouldn't be shocked to learn I love animals and nature. <laughs> I, I know, I know, well-trodden territory. Uh, well then, let's see. Um, I whittle in my spare time, and I've something of a sweet tooth. Although everyone's very amused when I say I like honey. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, whittling, what do you make? Ornaments, utensils. 
and ducks. I like ducks. <laughs> he likes ducks, chat. Ducker Z. So you turn into a bear and like honey. Little on the nose, wouldn't you say? I like what I like. Once you get to my age, you realize there's little point in denying yourself. So long as others aren't affected. Fair point. Thank you for sharing. As you've mentioned it, how old are you anyway? 350 years young. I've been privileged to watch saplings grow into mighty boughs. 350? He looks older than that for an elf. Thanks for sharing. Thank me by returning the favor, why don't you? <laughs> Come on. I'm sure you've something better than carving wooden ducks. I live in mortal fear of krakens, though I've never actually seen one. No, that one makes sense. Well, they are fierce creatures from what I understand. But as long as you avoid the high seas, I think you can consider yourself safe. Anytime. All right. We got to know Halcyon a little better. Catherick's soul still nourishes the shadows. Destroy him. So the land may heal. Your daughter! So that I may heal. What did I miss? Hey, Disaster Lord, you missed, uh, Halcyon has joined the party. And we've made him Shocker into a druid. Wow, crazy. On top of that, I have had Shadowheart shun Lady Shar in favor of me. I'm ready. I've got a long road ahead. <laughs> we deboned the bones, and it's true. That uh, necromancer guy that was hiding out in the Shar Fortress temple. Uh, yeah, we killed him and all his boners. 